What up and good morning. Welcome back to a special morning edition on a Thursday. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Uh, appreciate everybody for patiently waiting. We try to be a little bit earlier than yesterday. Before we continue uh, and introduce everybody else, I want to tell you guys there's new stuff on flavorsbyezone.com. Uh, you tip collectors out there, there's a limited 24 piece collaboration with Mad Tips that's available out there. So make sure you guys get that. There's also a couple other uh, stuff that, that has been updated on the Patreon. Your packages have been sent out. Not for this month yet. It's a brand new month, so give me some time. Let me get the stuff together. But, yeah, so make sure you guys, uh, you know what I'm saying, you guys uh, stay on top of that. And there will be new content coming out as well. Um, joining me across <laughs> is the one and only XG. What's up, dog? What's up? You do got these little nice little tips. Even though we usually do funky fill tips over here. These rock. Yeah, they hit pretty good, right? I mean, they're this uh, glass blower all the way from Chile, dog. Oh, wait, wait. Chile, Chile? Yeah, like Chile. That's dope. Like, uh, <laughs> not <laughs> chilies? <laughs> Usually I love a, like, American made. But what I mean, I just want it made by, like, a non-Chinese person. I know that sounds racist. <laughs> it is. But I don't mean that. I mean, like, a non-slave. I mean, like, a non-slave, you know? Like, non-labor working. Like, so, like, I'm glad. Even though it's from, like, a... Like, I want, I want, if I want a Chinese person to make something for me, like, I wanted to make it, like, with the same effort they made the Great Wall of China. Like, that shit is still standing, you know? Hey, some of it. Attack them like the Huns. Then. Some of it's standing. A lot of it, they don't take care of it. They don't maintain it. You know how long? Wait up. I've talked about this. Do you know how long? Yeah. I, the yeah, Chinese, it, it would be hard uh, to maintain all of it. That's all I'm saying. It's unbuilt. It's not finished yet. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, it was, but yeah. Well, they keep, they keep some of the parts really nice. Obviously, the tourist parts. But there's some parts where it's literally... The the south south of the border looks better than the China Wall. Sometimes. Have you seen the China Wall, the Great Wall of China? No, uh, I which have parts that. of it? Because it's have huge. you seen any of it? Yeah, of course. No, like in person. Oh no, yeah. yeah, that's he can't different. leave. He's illegal. I know. Come on, oh, that's right. That's right. Is that You're an trapped. insulting question? <laughs> did you rock? Did you see it on your retreat from Facebook? You know your Facebook no, retreat. No, but I did go to China for a month. I, I I don't know if he told you he performed on the China Wall. That's no, tight. I, I did jog. I did go for like a small jog on the. I just wanted to be able to say I did that. Um, and I definitely almost had heat. I want to go to the wall and fart on it. Yeah, it's really easy. You should do that. I and mean, if we're gonna disrespect the wall, I want to put a piece of gum on that wall. There's no, gonna that's not nah, the fart ain't gonna stick, dog. Come on. Yeah, it's just you know. It's be respectful. Look, yeah, I shouldn't fart on it. No, nah, you should fart it. on it, dog. Everybody <laughs> farted up there. What are you doing to the wall if, if you were like, if the, if you try and like, kind of disrespect it. it, you tag it, you put a high, <laughs> this motherfucker's good tag. Put a high hungry sticker on it, like or like the stencil, and then just and then just like leave it there. <laughs> or or maybe a sticker. I don't know. I don't. Want, I don't want like stickers I've been ain't watching, stick. I've been watching a locked up abroad extended stay. Extended stay like they never <laughs> leaving. <laughs> now, fool, like that shit's some serious. No, that's hell yeah. Why do you, I? Re, I mean, I, as much as I l joke around not leaving America in the U.S., that's one of the reasons I don't want to. Dude, my brother-in-law spent uh, two weeks in Chinese prison for weed. Oh, what's up, Rock? Oh. How you doing, dog? I'm good. Hi. Sorry. I yeah, well, you, I mean, well, you guys talked before, you know. Oh, I'm, I'm supposed to be quiet until I get introduced? Yeah. Kind of the rules. Kind of like the rules. Got it, got it. Uh, <laughs> only speak when spoken to. Got so it. So we're not introducing you at all anymore? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> maybe one of those signs like B-Real had down there. <laughs> <laughs> is it a be quiet sign? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what, what is it? But yeah, welcome, Rock. Well, thanks for having me. Thanks for Thanks for coming in early and everything. I appreciate you guys reason we're here early though is because of rock everybody so y'all can if you guys want to text him right now i gave his number out earlier i don't know that you appreciate it we're here early hey man i just i want you all to get on a good healthy uh sleep regimen you know eat uh -huh. healthy get up converse be better it's a sign of endearment when Ezo releases your number it doesn't seem like it <laughs> is that what you but tell it yourself? it kind of is. It's a kind of way of like, I love this fool enough. I'm going to release his number. He ain't going anywhere. <laughs> oh, did you shit. put my number out there? You, you nah, were, I just said that. Oh, oh you were joking. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, he don't love you. I mean, if, if you do it, I mean, I hope everybody knows I got a call blocker. So oh, you'll not know. Saved, you'll know when he straight. releases your number. It goes straight to voicemail. They can text me all they want. That's what if fine. You got what? I got this call blocker set up. Uh, I get a lot of spam calls. So I just got so annoyed with it. It was very distracting. So I have a call blocker set up that if... Uh, if your number's not saved, it doesn't go through. It goes straight to voicemail. What the fuck? That's 
you, a lot of business opportunities I would have missed. He probably, a lot of, he probably, what do you that's have, crazy. Robo killer, Robo killer? Uh, I got whatever Verizon has. Oh, that's crazy. I could not do that. I mean, I don't. I don't think I'm missing. What opportunities am I missing? Who like is today, like today? I'm not lying. So I got, I literally got a podcast offer from someone that gave someone else my number, and they called me. And if I wouldn't have picked up, he wouldn't have texted you. I guess. Motherfucker, yeah, but these, ninety percent of communications these, are done via no, text. No, these, at this these point. people are older. That's fine. This person was older. I don't know. I, I I get what you mean. I guess they could have texted me, but I'm just like, whoa. My thing is, it's just like, uh, uh. Yeah, dude. I, I don't know. My phone was just getting spam blown up heavy. Like I couldn't I couldn't go through a day without like thirty missed calls and like feeling. Do you pick that. up every phone call, Xavier? Pretty much. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I'll pick up mostly every phone call. And like I even know like sometimes when I'm like late on my time warner cable on my time warner bill, I know their number. I just don't pick it up. <laughs> there are some spam calls that actually turn out to not be spam calls. In my case, sometimes. So <laughs> I got to answer it sometimes. You know what's crazy, bro? Like, I am one of those fools that if I don't have you saved, I will never pick up that call. That's... If it's restricted, I never pick I'll up pick the up call. I'll pick up restricted, too, dog. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> this motherfucker just looking for an adventure. If it's one of my ex-girlfriends trying to talk to me, what's up, bitch? What you need? <laughs> we're, we're too lazy to save the numbers, dude. <laughs> That's the thing. I'm too <laughs> lazy to save a fucking number. I got like 10 unsaved numbers, dog. <laughs> I text people. I have I have text message threads of people with just the number, and, and I'm, I like, have to scroll through. Yeah, you, yeah, you got to scroll up, and you still like, won't save it. Where, yeah, where, I, where, I'm just, where I'm just like, oh, hey, what up? I met you at the comedy store. It's because yeah. you don't care enough about that person. I figured it out. It's because I don't care about that person. It's fucked up. It's fucked up how... Really truthful that sounds. Yeah, it is. What's, what's, you don't care. What's, it took me a year and a half to save your name on my phone. Exactly. I was gonna say You're what's funny is I was looking over his shoulder the You're other a liar. day. There's no I way I worked on we don't smoke the same. Maybe when you first met me, I do believe that. When I walked in here with GP, I do believe you were like, man, fuck this intern. No, but what's funny is uh, I was looking over Ray's shoulder and I saw his phone and your number isn't saved still. Yeah, that's true. Sorry, X. Why does it smell like fucking cherries? I've been saying that. Oh, I, I do not know where any of my weed is today, so I just have this weird little vape. It could be the fucking uh, propane. No, no, my shit don't smell nah, this, like that. This shit is very berry flavored. Like, yeah, bro. It's, right. it's like almost like a Like someone said, vape. if Ice called me, I'd pipe pick up. You're a saint. Just saying, Damn. if Ice called me, I'd pipe pick up. Be like, uh, If Ice me. called you? <laughs> Idiot, don't answer that. I wouldn't know, because I just pick up any number. I don't have them save under Ice. How are you still here? <laughs> yeah, I don't like I, you. Don't, you don't get freaked out, bro. Like I, honestly, like I don't pick up any phone calls because I just like I don't know, bro. Like that's just not enough. Like it doesn't require that much. Like some some people are just some people are energy vampires, bro. They're just calling to drain you of your fucking your, your energy, bro. And like you, speaking spam call right now. Yeah, you just spam hang call. See, look at that. Look at just that. Hang up on them. Like I'm one of these fools, bro. Though, like like I don't like I don't know, bro. Like if I don't. If I don't want to talk to you, I don't want. I'm not gonna talk to you. I appreciate you answering the phone twice in the past two days because I hate answering the phone. So that I got a lot of respect for that. Well, if I have your number saved, huh. I'm gonna answer. You know what I mean? It's Even just, if I got your number saved, there's definitely times I'll be like taking a shit. What do you want? I'm not gonna lie. I've called Rock, and for some reason, Rock's always too busy at his dispensary shop to pick up. Yeah, I mean, if you're calling Sunday through Wednesday, yeah, he yeah. Is. like he's always too busy to pick up. I'm like, and in my head, I'm like, I don't think he's supposed you're to have a calls, dispensary. Dude. Like, is it that busy? Is it 4:20? Like, is Did it I the New York Stock Exchange yeah, exactly. busy? <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 how fucking busy is this shit, Rock? And usually, it's a stupid question. I'm not here to like conversate. It's really gonna be like, hey, I picked you... up on fucking air, bro. Like, you know, yeah. what I mean? no, you didn't. No, you didn't. You told me you were on air and you did. You texted not me. Not your you phone call, up. but I picked up before. <laughs> so don't guilt trip me with that. <laughs> just call him through the shop, dude. Call the shop and yeah. ask for a, ask yeah. for that food. Uh, Holy next time that's what I'm shit. doing. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I never busy, thought about I'm gonna that. I'm going to call you through the shop. I'm like, well, now you can talk, motherfucker. Y'all mother no, you know what? And that's perfect. I would appreciate that. <laughs> uh, anybody else that gets that funny ass idea, though, I'm going to be screening this shit. I'm going to be like, who's calling and why? Uh, we don't smoke the same. We're people, pe people are calling the higher path on fucking yeah. Ventura. That is not where he works at, guys. You can't find the number on Yelp. Yeah, it's on Google. <laughs> that motherfucker's going to blow that shit up. Is Rox Epps in there? That's the funny part. They're not going to know that name. So, see, that's the automatic giveaway right there. Fuck, the, I don't I know. Wanna, I want to talk to the guy who makes beats. Damn, I hate saying this, but then I don't know your fucking name. Oh Matthew. no! You don't need the full real name to to get through to Did me. You just give it out like an idiot. Why well, you, you you talked over me? But yeah. Thank you for talking over somebody. That's the one first time I've appreciated I'm that. I'm so glad that I have to know because one time I'm not lying. 
I was a little kid and I was skate skateboarding with the homies and shit, like running in the muck when you're like little. And one of my homies was named Dirt. Dirt McGirt. Dirt McGirt. That's fucking ODB. Listen that guy's up. a poser. Listen up. It was Dirt McGirt. Mm. We don't I don't even remember how he got this name, but he got called, it because he well, watched the Wu Tang and he was like, That's hey, a okay, cool well, ass name. Kid. I'm gonna be That's Dirt McGirt. That's the point of the story. That is not yeah, the, the point of the story. story. Your friend even is the an teachers idiot. called him Dirt McGirt. That's dirty. not his real name though. It's not. The point is His teachers called him Dirt? Yes, it That's was like, awesome. Okay, he got yeah. some he got some points in my book. So, but, you see that clip of that guy? Oh, go ahead, finish. But all I'm saying is I'm glad I, I, I know your name now because when I was hanging out with Dirt McGirt running the muck, skateboarding and shit, the cops fucking pulled us over at one point, interrogated us, and he asked me for my friend's name, and I was like, Dirt. He's like, <laughs> what's his name? And I was like, dude, I swear it's, it's okay. That's all I know, man. And, I just know Dirt. Yeah, and I started panicking, and he's like, how are you friends with someone running a muck, doing illegal things, and you don't know his name? And to that day, when I pee people, I, I'm mad. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> know your friend's name, dog. The last thing you want to know is be like, what's your friend's name? E nah, because you know what? That's the, -Zone. that's the thing that keeps you from accidentally incriminating him being a little bitch. Not you being a bitch. I, I would, like you. I would but... snitch you out. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I was, so I was ready, you, I was ready, I was, I was ready <laughs> to snitch out during the skateboarding set. I was like, I was not the one who broke that window. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? You blame Dirt it on McGirt. some guy named Dirt. And that's why I said I was Dirt McGirt. <laughs> and then he's like, can you give me his real name? I knew a guy who uh, went by Buttercup. <laughs> back in the day and he <laughs> laid somebody out at a party and that guy went to the hospital and the police were like, do you want to press charges? And he was like, yeah. And they're like, what's his name? He goes, uh, buttercup. And they go, you got beat up by a guy named buttercup. You don't know his real name. He's like, nah. And like nobody else would snitch. Like other people that knew his real name, which is fucking William Williams, the eighth. That story just gets weirder and weirder. William William the Eighth. William Williams the Eighth. That's I saw pretty, that shit on his ID, on his credit card, everything. Had the fucking V three three. You know what I'm saying? Like William Williams the Eighth. Yeah, fucking wild. But he decided to go by Buttercup. <laughs> yeah. Squandered. I'm kind. Of, have you ever have you ever met a chick, or like have you ever like, you know, like been with a chick that like you never really knew her name? <laughs> no. I mean, that yeah. happened to me before, dog. What did you What like did you bone? call her? Like uh, mid bone? I'm looking at his face. That's Angel's what he's face. talking, he's talking about. Like be with? He's not talking about just going to the movies with some bitch you don't know her name. She gave you a name though. Yeah, it you was, forgot it. No, it was just name of a weed, indica. That's it. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. You were with a stripper. I've forgotten her name. No, you you knew that wasn't her name. You got a nickname as but a name. But you know what's crazy, fool? Like this was obviously when I was younger, bro. But like the one thing, the the thing that trips me out about it is I'm just like. I never once thought I was like, this bitch got warrants. Like, is this bitch a criminal? <laughs> this bitch a criminal. He could, she could steal all my shit, kill me, do something. And I never really bothered to try to get to find out the name, bro. Like, I, don't, I wouldn't let none of that shit slide. This, this well, you don't find it weird that you introduce yourself <laughs> to females as E-Zone? No. I don't. No, that's that's what they... If they, if they, if they I know to you it's normal, but what if a... Say hi, E-Zone, it's E-Zone. Yeah, I know, but what if a girl came up to you with not like a normal name like Jessica, Samantha? I would be like, no, what's your real name? Why? Why do you care? That's what they, I, they, I would. I, I wouldn't let some girl tell me her name's Indica. I'd be like, nah. Right. I'd be like, nah. Like if I'm fuck, I'm like, so what's your name? I, I'll, I'll let it slide. But if I'm boning this chick, I'm like, okay, I, I LOL Indica. You smoke weed? Cool. What's your name? Come up with your own bat I, I, Batman I, I, name. That's just and sick. He's, and he's and because I know I know Ezone has bone chicks with them just saying his name's Ezone. I mean, I, I mean, I don't ever just like my name's on Instagram, fool. Like that shit's not a, it's not a big deal. Like. It wasn't just, forever, was it? No, but I never like concealed my name. Oh, like, that's fair. Like I never hid it from anybody, so it's just like I never really had a problem with it. I just like prefer to go use E Zone because I don't really like using Edgar. Well, the other thing is that as an artist, if you're not going by your artist name, you're not serving yourself, you know, well on 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 letting people know what you're about. Yeah, because and then some people that they know that's not a regular name, so then they ask us like, what do you, What's that name from? And then other cultures, bro, like like Asian people, that shit seemed normal as fuck. They were like Ezone. They were cool with it. Like that shit. They, they, well, they got weird ass names too. Uh, I just go, I find it weird. <laughs> find it weird. Like I'll hook up with the chick and she's cool. With calling me XG the whole time. Bitch, my you wife know my name is like my, my wife have a name. My wife <laughs> just like XG. Well, like, well, well, what the well fuck? to put it in perspective, <laughs> there's not a single person outside of my mom, stepdad, brother, and sister that. That there's nobody else that doesn't call me Rocky on a regular basis. My mother-in-law, my father-in-law, you know, my wife. Real name. 
I know. I thought yeah. it was his name. I'm not lying. I thought his name somehow was Rock or had to do with maybe I don't know. Nah. I know how it sounds stupid, but I, nah, or Samson. I, I thought his name was maybe Sam. No, nah. he just added Rocky to it. I literally thought some more. So that's why right now I'm like, oh nah, fuck. I got, I've been hanging out with this guy this whole time, not knowing his actual name. My name is an amalgamation of uh, a lyric from Nas from It Ain't Hard to Tell, and then uh, a cartoon character from the Venture Brothers. Yeah, yeah. But uh, but no, I was gonna say uh, I don't know, man. There's something fun about having a secret identity to a degree. Like oh, I'm not cool. like super oh, yeah. protective of it, but it's like I also I don't like being called by my regular name because I haven't gone by that in almost 20 years now. It's kind of it feels disrespectful when people you know decide to like do that, you know. And it's like no, no, no. I introduced myself as Rocky. That's the name that you need to be telling everybody you're talking to, not you know the other thing. So it's just been, and also it's funny, I never used to keep it secret, but then there was this one girl one time, I had like a small stalker situation and she was so... How stalker? Had a stalker yeah, situation? How, yeah, how yeah. stalker we talking? I mean, like just came out... clinger, won't she stop texting you? you, showing up to your what? house? No, I didn't give her my number. Oh. But no, it was just like, she found me on Facebook. She started going to a lot of my shows and she would come out and every time she always asked, what's my real name? And at first it was a game. I was like, <laughs> I ain't going to tell. And then, like, she started getting legitimately upset with me in public. And that's when I was just like, oh, this is scary. And I was like, you know, I don't feel like I got to hide. started getting upset? Like, about what? Because I wouldn't tell her my real name. Like, she was like, fucking tell me your name? Like, yeah. Like, like, it got aggressive? aggressive. Yeah, it got aggressive. Was she, she a started, big chick? Huh? Was she a big chick? I mean, she was bigger than me at the time. Okay. I, I liked big girls. No, oh, I you just, remember. We know that. It's like, yeah. No, no, yeah. I asked because I'm like, I'm like, for a girl, to, like, I just can't see like a scrawny girl being like aggressive. Oh, no, no, man. Chihuahuas are mean. <laughs> like, tiny people are mean too. But, okay, so I just, so this is a big chick telling you, <clears throat> tell me your fucking name. Okay, she was okay. no Gorda, dude. She was okay. just like, you know, she was, uh. Okay, can you just let us know what fucking celebrity was stalking you? Oh, I don't have a celebrity stalker. I was waiting for a name drop. Okay, no. let me I want to hear more you. about this. Hear, hold on. So, so what? What part was like where you where it crossed the line for you? I didn't let it get to a weird like too far. I don't now know. How do you call it a stalker? I would say I call it a stalker when it gets weird. I call her a stalker when she shows up to every show and asks me the same question every that's, time that's, and starts anybody getting anybody can show up. To that's any called show a you. fan. But in getting, my opinion, but that's called a fan. When She's you start money in your pocket, when you start getting emotionally like distraught over it that's when i'm like this is weird this yeah, isn't kinda. like <laughs> yeah <laughs> this isn't yeah. this isn't just wondering what was something she like is. cock blocking other bitches you were getting at the time or what like homie i didn't get bitches <laughs> i was fucking i weighed 120 wet you yeah. know oh damn so you weren't always like uh like oh, i was going strictly off talent to get anything at that point and that was not enough in a lot you of took cases. took that machine everywhere. <laughs> I didn't even do this. I just did DJing. And I think that's why I was like, you know, DJing is, is cool. So, and so, so, wait up, wait up. So then rewind, dog. You're over here telling it me. It doesn't really seem like a rewind. stalker to me, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and okay, well, it's and, the closest thing to a stalker I've ever okay, had. Because I'm not like some fucking and Adonis. Then, and even then, rewind, like I said, since you're a <laughs> DJ, rewind. You just said you were getting no pussy. And some girl was throwing pussy at you. And you decided it's too stalker. Oh, yeah. Was she trying to fuck you? Yeah. yeah. She's I trying mean, to fuck for sure. I mean, probably. But I'm not getting trapped. What trapped happens out, if you fuck a stalker? You can wear a condom. You can do all sorts of things. But at the end of the day, man. Oh, I just it. caught a weird vibe. I caught a weird vibe, and I was really put off by it. And you know, my dick doesn't usually dictate my uh, decisions. Hey, Xavier, <laughs> you're over here asking the same question. Well, you know, I have to ask. I've never <laughs> had a stalker. He acts like he had, uh, dude. I'm just. I've never had a stalker. I'm gonna say no. Of course not. <laughs> but I, I, you, 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 you act kind of like you act with my head sometimes. Not as much anymore. I'll give you that. But you've acted with. Those wrong head before. Yeah, when I was under the influence of a lot of coke. Yeah. <laughs> hey, bro, when you're on coke, bro, you text everybody. You up? Yo, so like, I, you know, you have no. I miss you. You have no acknowledgement or consideration of what time it is. There's no, hey, how you been? You skip right to the fucking point. So, like, during those fucking years, I, like, yeah, bro, I was out like, here just fucking... I got a savage. I gotta ask you because I didn't when we were there because I was fucking wasted. Um, did you have any kind of like relapse 
tingling sensation while at the comedy store in the green room. Richie's there. Everybody's there. It's packed. Everybody's kind of partying. No, it and was like, fun. It was and you fun. killed. And obviously, you were, you're, you're like, you, your blood was flowing. You weren't like, hey. And I know. I'm glad, I'm glad you did it. Unless you didn't tell me. No, it was, like, it, was it was tempting watching it must Earl, have been. Earl St. Clair do coke in the bathroom. Because <laughs> to, Tommy, like, bum, 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 dude, bum, Tommy bum. was going hard on the coke, bro. <laughs> Damn, putting him on blast. Yeah, well, on chill, Tuesday? Chill. <laughs> on Tuesday? Tommy not, uh, Tommy. Three uh, plates ain't even here to talk not, about. Not that Tommy. It's not, over, dog. Yeah. It's yeah. over. Yeah, it's over, yeah. <laughs> it's the other Where Tommy the that performed at the comedy <laughs> store on Tuesday. He brought it up. I don't fuck doesn't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> Fool. Throw That's someone else under the bus. That way Tommy isn't the only one. Anybody who's been on the <laughs> GPS GPS podcast was going hard that night. <laughs> you play, I thought that, I thought if, you play funk mu- if you play funk music, go hard. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that fool quit. Who? Tommy. Me too. I'm sure I'm sure a lot of people quit that night and you know celebrated. Man. Dude, but that like no one call Tommy right now, even though you have his number. Do not let him know. Do not let him know what happened. Somebody right text him. The shit wasn't even clean. Yeah, wasn't even clean. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna come. Yeah. Oh, side dick was there. I mean, he he, no, he brought it. He, yeah. Man, he's he's still missing that tooth. Still missing that tooth. Oh, still oh. missing that tooth. What happened to that tooth? I noticed it's that. coming in though. I I did see an email that said tooth. Like you know how? Because how, how do you want? What, what, what are you? What are you, you doing? Through his emails? Yeah. You showed yeah, me because you know how we're kind of roasting him, and he's like, you, you have to get a plaster. You have to get a plaster. Yeah. So he's like, it's coming, fool. So he he didn't show us like an email, but he shows that he's going to dentist. So there was like a dentist email. Hey, cut the guy some slack, dog. He's gonna, according to him, he's well, gonna. Have you ever? It don't look good. Have you ever been with a fool? It don't look good. One time I was the good looking chick, right? And like fool, like this. Oh, dude. How do you just text me? Who? I did. I'm just fucking. No, no, he said, <laughs> "Shut your fucking mouth." I thought, I thought he was like, "Y'all threw." I thought, it, I thought what he said, "Y'all threw." Y'all just threw Tommy under the bus. <laughs> that's gonna be. So like, that's gonna be all the comments. So one time, dog, like I was, you know, I was dating this chick, and she's a very good-looking chick, right? And fool, like, she fucked up and broke her fucking tooth, right? And like, and it was same side dick style, right? Yeah. But I was like, to me, I was just like, man, I couldn't help but to cut. You know, I was like Austin Powers with that mole. <laughs> Remember, oh. He, he, yeah. oh, I can't. I, can, I can't do a female with the mole. Tooth. Yeah, like, and I just kept doing it, like, but like, yeah, bro, like during that time where the tooth was missing, I was doing everything not to hang out with her. <laughs> Shallow. That's amazing. Which tooth was it? The front like, one. I like one you. of the front ones, dude. Like either this one or that one, bro. See, that's when you just do some like weird hillbilly role play. I still bone though. That's what I'm saying. You're just like throwing the stuff. You know, you accent. do it in the dark. You know. Like, but, but why well, don't you ever look me in the face when we make love? I would have just told her, "Can you act like the uh, that West Virginia family, the Whitakers? Can you act like can you act like one of the Whitakers? I told you, <laughs> just bark the whole time, please. Just bark. Our, our, the, the dog food died. Did he? Yeah, he died. we've talked about this like three times now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still, dude, people don't know. And you, I, I don't know if you guys know, but did you hear what Homeboy's getting accused? Soft fight on your belly for yeah, stealing, stealing money, money from the Whitakers? Oh, we, we talked about that too. Can you There's no way because I just yeah. saw that did documentary. Tro- we definitely There's talked about no that. Way. You ever get in trouble Literally. like fucking exploiting? Like, like uh, something like that, fool? Like, you ever think about those people like that like stand out with the Salvation Army bucket or people that are like, can I get some money? Like, fool, how many of those people are real, dog? Like, you don't think they just take home that money at the end? Like, I would. There's nothing that says how much money is going in the bucket, so they're like, just a little for me. Donate enough so it seems like I did my job. Like, if they like get I, 300 bucks, you just throw in 75 bucks. That's I got, all I got. And <laughs> people weren't really in a given mood today. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, back in the days, so like a long time That's ago. That's some scumbag shit, bro. 100%. Like, that is some... Yeah. That's some low shit. This was a long time ago. Like, now if you're selling chocolate bars, I won't even give you money because I think you're... Not thinking, and that's not the way to make money. There's so many ways to make money now. In front of a store that has a more variety of chocolate bars. Thank you. That's Stupid why I ass. won't. Then the full selling me chocolate bars outside of Target to get the fuck out of here. But when before then, like when I when I was younger, I would just get like when I first started working. School, dumbass. I used to just give them the money and be like, "Look, <laughs> do whatever you want. I don't want the chocolates. You should keep the money." Is what I was telling them. You were just keeping that hustle going. They should. They should keep them. And if you're stupid, you would literally fucking eat the chocolate bars or some bullshit like that. My favorite thing is... Uh, They're well, not starving, fool. 
They're just trying to come up. They're just trying to make some money. Not, they're I mean, not going to eat that back, chocolate bar. Back, back then, it was a come up. Back, right now, you can literally offer shit up, dude. You've seen whatnot. There's so many ways to make money other than help a chocolate, just, by selling my chocolate taxes, bar for someone I, else. I, I got one of my tax papers, like, for my whatnot, and I, I didn't even try last year. But God damn, bro. Like, I'm going hard this year, bro. God, like, bro. for sure. Like, I'm going super hard. Like, that's just, like... Clearly turned into another business for me, like real quick. That you, shit. Congratulations! I'm just gonna give you all my gear. <clears throat> oh yeah, you should start it. doing I consignment. Have so much gear. That That's I don't consignment. Need. Consignments where you take somebody's product and you sell it for them. But Not that I haven't been poor, fucking asshole. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. No, no, no. Because I was like, I know, I know that like it's like it's, it's like some it's explain it, please, Rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. So consignment is essentially where like if I had like a pair of shoes. And I was like, I'm not really in a position or have the time or know how to sell them. And I gave them to you. You, you know, we'd yeah, a fan base. Yeah, <clears throat> we would agree on what I'm looking for. Because like as the consignment, you know, owner of the thing, I'd be like, you can't settle for less than this. This is like the bottom line for me. And you want to make a cut. So you're going to raise the price a little bit on oh, that. Oh, so you like the middleman. Yeah, but that, but it's one of those things like. A lot of there's a lot of sneaker stores and some of the more expensive sneakers are on consignment, uh, you know, because they're not going to shell out thirty thousand dollars to some dude for a pair of shoes. You know, they're going to be like, OK, when we sell them, we'll pay you out. And then they obviously put a little tax on that or charge a fee. However, they do it. They make enough money that it's worth their time in the end. Do You have your shoes on consignment? Some of them? <clears throat> nah, I'm nah, uh, you're not going to sell none of this. I, I I have some that I'm uh, actually I'm looking to sell some here real soon, so I actually might talk to you if you're interested. Um, but it's it's like today I got a couple of pairs of shoes uh, that just came in the mail from Adidas, the Fear of God collection. They're really nice. Um, I stopped buying shoes and just started buying more. Com well, I I just bought comfortable like running shoes because I'm just like, especially I was like this summer I'm gonna take advantage of all the sunlight that's coming out there. Fuck I'm like, yeah, fuck that. I'm not trying to be inside. I'm trying to ride bikes, do some shit, I'm trying to fucking you know. Just, you know, work on not on a tan, but just like get some sunlight, bro. Yeah, just be moving. Yeah, just be moving. Um, so I just been buying just comfort, but I just, I have been buying Crocs though. Well, I was gonna <laughs> like say special edition Crocs. I respect that. See, I'm kind of the same way with my shoes now. Like, obviously, but I, I've been selling all my shit too. My shoes. That's why I was like, I probably need to holler at you because I need to get rid of some shit because I'm definitely at 120 plus pairs. Um, Jesus, rock. Oh. Yeah, 50 of those at least are are like Jordan ones. Um. Those I won't get rid of, but um, but no. What I was gonna say is, uh, fuck, I'm high. Got that be real weed. <laughs> Talking about co-signing or whatever, not co-signing. What is it called? Oh, 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 comfort. Thank you very much. Uh, got me back on track. No, the uh, the on the comfort thing. That's what I've really been on. Like the Yeezy Adidas, not the three fifties. Those are comfy, but they got no arch support. I just talked to this artist yesterday about this. The Yeezy shoes. It be, me and Be Real literally both agreed. Just can't do it, dog. That's okay. I, I respect not being able to do it because of the artist, but as far as like a comfortable shoe goes, that is easily the most comfortable thing I've ever worn in my life. So I have three pairs of the Yeezy 700s, and those are kind of my like <clears throat> day to day. And then uh, the shoes that I got today are Fear of Gods, and those are also really comfortable. Um, so that's, I got two pairs so I could wear one, you know, kind of into the ground and really take advantage of it. But those are extremely comfortable, which is why I'm okay paying that money and I'm okay investing in it like that. That's like the most white guy explanation on like fucking investing in shoes. Bro. No, the, the most white guy explanation would be like, well, there's good return on it. If you preserve it and take care of it and you give it like, a few years. Well, it's the widest one I've heard. It's like if I, who's the, it's like if Danny Brown was in here talking about why we should buy a house in a <laughs> you know? like, shout out to Danny Brown and his podcast. That guy's fucking doing it big. God, he's great. One day I'm buy a fucking house from him. I didn't know this, but apparently a lot of his career and stuff like that kind of centered around Austin. We're talking about the real estate guy. Oh, I'm talking about the rapper. Yeah, you don't know the real estate guy, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. Real estate mogul. All right, uh, hey, let's let's uh let's fucking get let's let's get to the fucking topic that we talked about uh before we were talking about before. I, why do a lot of people fucking say that Goku is not a good father, bro? Uh, okay, like hold on, hold on. Hey, there's there's, there's a lot of lore, there's a lot of lore going around that I have been seeing that people are saying Goku is not a good dad, and it's just like, bro, like honestly, like in my take, that fool gave his life up not only to protect the fucking earth, but like he literally told like told Piccolo if I'm not mistaken, hey fool, take care of my son. Like, I'm going to die right now trying to protect these fools. 
To me, dog, that's like the most manliest shit any father can do. I'm going to let you. I'm going to hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to let you guys take the floor for a second, but I'm a fucking mega nerd on this shit, and I'm going to put y'all down, but y'all go ahead and y'all say y'all's okay. peace, and then I got you. Don't cut I, me okay, off. Okay, I love Dragon Ball. <laughs> I, love, I love Dragon Ball, but the way Rock's talking about it, He's going to nerd out on me, so I yep. have a feeling I'm going to lose this argument. Like, when I see people talk like that, I know I'm in trouble. I know. <laughs> and to start off with, this conversation started because Ray called fucking Dragon Ball Z mid, and it got us all wild up. <laughs> First off, just saying, yeah, that's just where that say, started. You know, that's not the up. topic now. But, the topic and is then from there, And then from there, I don't know who mentioned that Goku wasn't a great dad. I think he was a great dad, first of all, because he's trying to come back to at least see his kid. <laughs> I know dads that don't come back. The no, bar has only, been set yeah, low. Yeah, he died and he said, I want to come back and see my kids. So, <laughs> and his wife. So, to me, like he's going to say, like, to me, win win. And come on, who doesn't want a strong dad like that? I, like, like my, I always was like, damn, dude. Goku's got Goku. Yeah, Super Saiyan it out. Like, I wish my dad could super, dude. He don't, Every time he's Super <laughs> Saiyan, the only thing that one got hit was my mom. I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, it's not his fault that he's dead most of the time. <laughs> Keep going. Like, I'm just saying, like, he he kind of, like, he, well, he kind of did put his son as, like, second place okay. for the sake of the earth in a way. But, like, his, right. like his son, like, yo, he had he had other fools. All right, here's the question. Here's the question. Is he a that better? Fool try, that other fool was trying to kill that fool, though. No, no, no. He, I, think, I think this is the question. Not only, okay, he might be a bad dad, whatever, whatever, but was he worse dad than Vegeta? Yeah. Cause Vegeta's a little asshole, right, and like, you, know, you no, see what I mean. And the show is a little, a little punk, little nah, asshole. No, that's it. I want to. I, I love Vegeta. Right, don't interrupt. Wait, wait, wait. The, I, I know oh, why Rock. I'm, all right, let, let Ray. Are you, are, you, are you ready to give him the floor? You have no, no other. No, let Ray say his okay. thing, and then then we. Can I let... know what Rock's gonna say. He's gonna say that. Remember the episode where Gohan does the Kamehameha to sell that yeah. fucking big ass one that lasted the whole episode or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. During that whole time, fucking was Go Goku was pushing that kid. He was just like berating him, like, "Come on, Goku, you, you can do it!" Like, just like putting all this fucking unwanted pressure <laughs> on him. How's that a bad dad? He's getting uh, pushed. Don't worry, don't worry. How's that a bad dad? I, That's I was my yelled... theory. That's my okay, theory. Okay, okay. Right, I'm, I'm done. done. <clears throat> all right. Así no se juega. Does does anybody else have anything else they'd like to He's say? He's like a good Mexican dad. Yeah, yeah. maybe because we're Mexican. Maybe, Goku, and we're like, <laughs> maybe Goku's Mexican. Maybe he's not a good white dad. He's not a good white dad. Like in your eyes, you <laughs> no. know. You know what? Is there anything else? I don't know. I've got a case for everything I don't else. Know. I'm said. thinking right now. I think this might be uh, it. Yeah, I, think I, think I think we're ready to give right. you the floor. Okay. All right. Thank you. So here's what we're going with. All right. So first and foremost. <laughs> Goku starts off as a pretty decent dad in the beginning of Dragon Ball Z, which is literally just one episode of him being like a real good dad hanging with his son, we're, right? We're going to go deep. Oh, yeah. No, I'm going to hit you. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, so anyways, he dies, you know, killing his brother Raditz, and, you know, he has to leave him to Piccolo. But this is where the problem starts. Piccolo trains him because he's like, oh, shit, that kid's got some serious untapped power. That's going to be my kid now. It's like for Whoa. malicious intent, like right? Like stepdad activities? Like kidnap and Stockholm Syndrome. Like you got left with your un your Mexican uncle that drinks a lot. But he sees that you're worth something, so he invests in like you. Like you can sing, but like, so he's going to oh. take you to the Swami to sing type shit. So, 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 so Piccolo took Brains Gohan him, yeah. under his wing, trained him, but then developed a... You know, Piccolo was a bad guy at this point. Um, and this is uh, kind of where he learned how to like, you know be a good guy i guess and then in the sand war you know the sand fight uh against napa he takes one for gohan and sacrifices himself and that's kind of like the pivotal moment you're like okay he's a piccolo good guy genuinely yeah. is a good guy and has developed a really strong bond with gohan sacrificing himself we keep going uh you know the sand fight happens gohan gets sent to fucking namek without his fucking dad with Krillin and Bulma. So that's the first, like, holy shit, fuck you. Because Goku just let that happen instead of just, like... Wasn't he dead? No, he was alive. He was in a hospital. Because he got beat the fuck up by Vegeta and, like, all of his ribs and shit broken. So he's well, in a hospital. But you can't kind of be there for somebody if you're in a hospital. Yeah, but you also can't send your fucking kid into okay, space. Stop, you feel me? Stop, stop, no, no, stop, no. Stop, we stop. talked about no, me having think, the floor. No, no, I have the okay, floor. Okay, Hold no, on. No, no, no. But you think space is crazy because we've never been in space. That's like saying, oh, you can't let your kid fly. Dude, he's a Saiyan. Hey, 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 overruled. Hey. Overruled. Yeah, Xavier, let him so talk. stupid. Let him all talk. Right. Okay, that's, yeah. <laughs> so anyways. All right. So, so now Gohan 
is parentless in space. Okay, goes to a planet. They didn't realize how severe the the, the conditions of the planet were going to be, but essentially space Hitler's out there committing genocide and collecting the Dragon Balls on that planet, which is why they're there. Yeah, Frieza. So he goes through all of that. Goku finally makes his way out there. He's fucking insanely strong and saves the day. Um... And he sends Gohan off again with Piccolo. Again, these aren't necessarily the worst traits yet. But as you watch that fucking series, uh, you know, Goku, uh, at the very end of the Frieza saga, you know, the planet blows up and they're like, we wish for everybody killed in Frieza's wake to be brought back to life. And they bring everybody back to life and like Goku's still alive. And like, oh, well, we still have another wish. I wish for him to be on Earth with us. And he goes, he says no. Goku straight up was just like, nah, I'm not ready to go home yet. So he, his kid, whom he hasn't seen in well over a year, I'm assuming, at this point. How come he doesn't go home, though? I forgot. They don't explain that. He goes to this planet called Yard Rat, which is where he learns instant teleportation. And yeah, I know oh, that's important. I think it, when you want to be the savior of the planet. Excuse you, me. We're talking about my time on the floor here. Well, <laughs> that was why, Yes, why he stay? I'm yeah, but I'm, saying, but I'm saying it's not homie. He beat Frieza. The planet blew up. He survived, and they were wishing him back home. Where the fuck else? Like, he didn't know space. He didn't know where he was going. He just happened on this planet that he just happened to learn instant teleportation. So it was, or instant transmission. So it's one of those things. It was for the better good at the end, but the whole time he's just fucking free balling in space, going to a random planet, and not going home when he's beckoned by the fucking dragon, Shenron, uh, which doesn't make sense. But, anyways. So then you fast forward to the Cell Saga where now Gohan is like 11, like a teenager, like between 11 and 12. <clears throat> Goku finally comes back. Then he has a heart attack three years later, is incapacitated. But, that you know, he gets like a good three years with his dad. <sighs> and then all the Cell Saga stuff starts happening. And, yeah, he does start pushing Gohan a lot. And there is a lot of that, like, one-on-one time in the hyperbolic time chamber. But, like, outside of that, Piccolo has still been there way more as a parent for Fuck Gohan off. in between this. And that's why when Piccolo he comes... Piccolo fucked him up. Well, dude, he was the only one that was actually there for him and, like, really was the first person to train him and bond with him. And that's the thing is, like, uh, that's why when they get out of the hyperbolic time chamber, Gohan wants the, the, the same Namekian outfit that Piccolo rocks. <clears throat> and then, during the whole fucking cell fight... The whole reason, like, oh, this is the part where it's like, you should just accept that he's a bad dad. This is going to fuck it all up. So, Goku starts fighting Cell. That's what everything has been building up to, essentially, because Cell was created uh, for the Red Ribbon Army, essentially, and their prime directive was to kill Goku. So, that's all he wants to do is fucking kill Goku. That's Why do they want to go- kill Goku? Because Goku, when he was a child in Dragon Ball, took down the Red Ribbon Army. So that's right. So yeah. anybody that's left over, all they want is revenge. So that's yeah. why the Android Saga happens because Doctor Jiro was with the Red Ribbon Army, and that's why the you know. Anyways, so then you get this fight. You finally get it. Cell's fighting Goku, and Goku is holding his own just fine. And probably, like he says, he couldn't have done it. But the big thing is, he. He taps out of the fight mid-fight. He's like, all right, I'm done. I can't beat you. Go on, get in there. And then he gives Cell a Sinzu bean and gets him back up to 100%. Oh, yeah! <clears throat> and that is be- his reasoning, which makes sense, but it's like super fucked up as he was like, one day I'm not going to be here, bullshit. Uh, so somebody else has to be able to take the helm and be able to protect the planet. Go on is the strongest person here. So I'm going to make him fight Cell at his utmost best potential so he doesn't get like an easy fight out of this and the rest is history man i mean there's other things throughout the rest of the show where you see goku being a shitty dad and while that's admirable for the planet he is a bad dad not there not with you on that one that's okay it's close good 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 try that was a long ass rant. I'm sorry, but the only reason I- <laughs> Izo, that's just how japanese dads are fool yeah bro <laughs> you, Jap- Japanese life, Japanese living is all about being independent as a child. Um, you see yeah. kids taking the fucking subway at 11 years old. Ain't nobody worried about them. Uh, like, and I, and, and, and to I mean, be, and to be fair, you know what I, what I'm saying is, I was like, 
He's a fucking Saiyan, bro. Like, I would understand if he was, like, fucking, like, the, the black kid from Malcolm in the Middle where you had to worry about this motherfucker growing up. But I'm talking about, like, bro, like, he's Gohan, bro. Do you like, know how does old he, he Does he really need his dad? He can fucking fight. Do you know how old he was when he was on Namek fighting Frieza? He was five. That's a cartoon, okay. But that's the point. <laughs> We're talking about a cartoon no, dad but, being a bad dad. We're he, defending him. It's more than a cartoon, dog. Oh, it's a yeah. legacy. It's a movement, man. Anime would not be as I mean, The way you talk about it, it's here. obviously... It's, 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 I mean, we all know about There's it. Like death that. to this series. <laughs> Except for GT. Fuck that shit. Nah, GT ain't canon. Also, we lost to Kira Toriyama uh, last month. So, you know, I think hey, some of us are still hurting. Did, did you see it? Because <laughs> you're, you're into that... Uh, car, into, into that that scene, but if I've seen it, you must have seen it. Did you see those blade blades that oh, yeah. keep spinning and they charge a cell phone? I always thought that was pretty cool. These blade blades wouldn't stop spinning. I don't feel so dorky now. Yeah, I know, because I had to help you. I had to show you that. <laughs> no, I, I, don't, there too. I, do, I don't. I don't. You really never fuck with blade blades. You never. I, I never. Them? I never had one. I what? Never it. I think the one time I played it, it was uh, at the last thing that I posted up with uh, Tommy A Plus Products at this uh, cartoon con. Did you see him do coke? <laughs> <laughs> now they're confused on which Tommy it was. <laughs> hey, in the vlog, you can see it. No! Yeah. Should I pixelate it or what? Like, there's what? I think there's a shot where somebody's talking. Well, Patreon and only this, for this, this or what? A, like in the back, he's like, you can see it through the mirror, probably. Yeah, 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 in the back, and then you just see. Now everybody's gonna watch it. Yeah. <laughs> Check out the vlog this Saturday. Look closely. I don't know if we can show that though. And then uh, you blocked, uh, you blurred the the girl that I was trying to pick Xavier, up. Xavier, what the fuck was that all about, <laughs> dog? That shit was the weirdest shit ever, dude. <laughs> I was telling some chick that she needed to buy a ticket because she was trying, she was on the streets. She was on the streets. Yeah, trying to she pick was, up a homeless chick. No, I was trying to get her to buy a ticket to my raffle card so she wouldn't be on the streets. And, and what, what did she say? Nothing. You gotta see it. You gotta see it. And then yeah, Ray blocked it off because I read to rewatch it. And then I saw her face on there because I was like, was she cute? I don't remember. <laughs> and I want to go see and her face wasn't there. Yeah. Which I don't care. But I was like. But you know, <laughs> fucking laws, you know. Damn, that shit. Oh, and then, the, and then the guy that was doing coke at the lab factory too, he's like, don't record me. And you can barely see him though. I haven't right? seen that one. I haven't seen that part yet. No, it was on last week's. I don't when think I, I ever saw car. that clip. Oh, that's in there though. You might edit. No, it's not. It might be in there. I think I saw it. This guy yells out, "Don't record me doing coke." Remember but when we asked? I record the back of his head, so it didn't matter. I was like, yeah, remember when we asked Dayton? I was like, hey, do you fools like is a dreidel like an all year round thing? You fools just carry it and just play when you're bored? Or what? Oh yeah. <laughs> Did he have? <laughs> no, he had, a, he had a dreidel. No, we asked him. We're like, yo, so is that just like a Hanukkah thing only? Like, or like it's like. Is that yes. just like we're just gonna start gambling whenever? Like, <laughs> oh my god, yo! If I go to Vegas and there's not a fucking <laughs> what what is it called again? Dreidel? A, a dreidel table? I'm pissed. That can be. I can actually be a fucking good gambling thing, bro. Like if you like in Central America, they have like a similar thing. Remember, it's called dominoes or something like that. And you spin it, and then, and like yeah, you put money in it, and like depending on what you get, I don't know. It's it's like a weird game. <clears throat> I forget what all the symbols represent, but it was like yeah, it, it essentially was. I don't think people were like gambling money, but I think it was like, you know, it's a game. I don't think you're just playing with a dreidel and roll a little top by yourself. You ever been to a bar mitzvah? Uh, what's the difference between bar and bot mitzvah? Because I've been to the girl version. Oh. I've been to a bot mitzvah. I went to a really nice bot mitzvah, actually. It was a girl? It was a girl, yeah. All right. Bah? It's for chicks? Bot. Yeah, bot. I thought they didn't celebrate the chicks. i never seen a chick yeah, bar mitzvah. Do. Yeah, no. It's just different, but dude, obviously. That was like, it was on Rodeo Drive at some hotel. It was like... Did they pick that fool up on the chair? Of course. They did. I, I think they did that. Uh, it was funny. This party had like teen professional dancers to help get the party started. So there's these like kids that definitely were not friends with, you know, the Pete, the family. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Topical. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, they were all dancing and shit. God damn it. That was really but wait, Is that really a thing though? What? You pay other teens to come start the party at your teens party it's it's they're they're there the whole time but they're there to keep the party going because the thing is if you're a party full of just like pre-teens i know i've been to i've been to quinceaneras yeah Some you of them feel suck. Me? yeah so you're, you're all like, fucking Yaw. wallflowers no, so horrible. if you're rich enough then you're like hey i'm gonna pay somebody to make sure this party stays fucking lit 
I know these people and these people. I got this kid that offers this service like babysitting, except he just shows up to a party and fucking I did dances not know the whole that's time. A thing. I'm super I didn't either. Right now. Holy fuck! You but it was like, like higher stand-ins. Well, no, it wasn't. Well, I mean, I'm sure you could do that too. But this was a situation where it's like you gotta watch Succession. These own. This was a situation yeah. where they had a fucking like a couple of kids that were just like really good at dancing, and their whole job was to literally just be on the dance floor, boogieing and shit. And like getting people to come in and just like keeping like teaching people how to like not teaching them how to dance, but being like, nah, do it like this, dog. That's so fucking stupid, bro. Like, you say that, but also like, what's the point of having that dance floor yeah. if nobody's gonna use it? Yeah, like, if you I want know, that party I, to be turned up, you, you pay did. a couple of people to plant throughout the whole thing to yeah, keep no, enjoying shit. I, I understand like the whole the whole uh, gimmick of it. Like, it's like, hey, bro, if you're gonna have a fucking clown. You're going to have the best clown. You're going to have a few kids that are just going to be there all the fucking to time. To watch that clown be, all and, day. And, and every time he does something, go, <gasps> yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And fucking just be like, oh, my God, it is the best shit. Yeah, like, I, I get it. Like, I, it, I, I can see that. Like, I wish I had that kind of money. That's all I'm saying. Because yeah. that's fucking, it's lit. It works. It's like, honestly, it flows we real hire natural. hire a magician at the next, we don't smoke the same pop and be like, look, we're hiring like four wheels. <laughs> yeah do you know how many times i was like at a quinceanera and i was like can some people just start like grinding on each other so then i can go grind on this chick Jesus. but you can't be the first know, one right? because they're the fucking parents so they're watching you and shit and you're I'm, like we've grinded before everybody else was doing it. yeah so but if you had like professional grinders <laughs> <laughs> what was the most lit party you ever went to as a young as a young kid house parties i know but what was like okay like but I think latest, I'm like, damn, bro, these fools are rich. Like, like, cause I'm like, luxury mm. is a different kind of lit, bro. There's nah, lit where like, hey, there was know. drugs everywhere and alcohol, and I got to have underage drinking. But when you go to like something like a bar mitzvah, like how he said, like that's not next level of like, oh shit. They had custom socks, dog. Damn. Yeah, I still got those. They're good socks. I want to say the most lit one was just like a bowling alley one. I went to like somebody else's party, and I was like, but it was like the tightest bowling. Alley, like the whole thing was reserved. They had baggies and everything. It was kind of I went to a lot of quinceañeras where they rented out like halls. Okay, yeah, like I guess okay, uh, but okay. that's baller. That's kind of baller. I mean, not but not Rodeo Drive okay, hotel style, but a ball. Party. A ball's pretty cool for a quinceañera. I want to say like Chuck E. Cheese. It's like ideal kids. Like it's lit. Like I don't know. I went to Dave and Buster's. Some kids' birthday party, and the mom gave me a card. They gave everybody a card, like twenty, thirty, thirty dollar card, which is still like that's still pretty cool. Baller shit, yeah, nothing crazy, but to get a card. For 25 bucks from some random mom and shit. Have you ever been to like a Project X party? Like, oh, like that's crazy. Oh, those are wild. I've never been to one of the. Uh, 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 I've been to something like that, but not like off that hook. Not that crazy. Like who? The homie from State Farm? No, <laughs> no. He 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 doesn't do crazy. His, his birthday parties are crazy. Actually, we did do a really crazy party at this mansion that was uh they used for porn. And it's funny because I've seen a video before and I was like, I know that place. I'm glad I didn't sit on that. Um. <laughs> But no, uh, the homie would have licked it. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me that was done here? <laughs> wait, wait up. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> que cochino. Uh, no, but I think one of the craziest parties that I ever got to do was uh, I DJed a frat party during their rush week in Austin at UT. Nice. That was wild. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to um, what's it called? The IV in Santa Barbara. That was lit on October during October. They closed down the street. That was, that was pretty dope. Like, like frat shit parties. That's the only reason I'm pissed. I didn't go to college. Oh, for <laughs> Man, sure. Man, I didn't go to college. So I could have partied more. Yeah, dude. That's the ever... only reason I wanted to go. Dog. When when um when uh the song by Asher Roth came out, I was like, I need to hire my GPA because I'm not getting in anywhere. <laughs> That's why you wanted to go. Yeah, fool. That shit looks sounded so much fun. And then when they when I found out I couldn't dorm because I couldn't get loans and shit, I was like, <laughs> that was a waste of fucking trying hard. <laughs> I had to go to fucking community college. Bullshit. I was ready to get loans. I was ready to fucking dorm it up. That shit was fucking tight, bro. Being yeah. That, being that young and like time going slow because you didn't have anything going on. Nothing, bro. Honestly, I'm ready. Dude, eating eating yeah. at the cafeteria as much as you want. Like, I'd go to my homies. The homies that went to college, they'd be like, okay, you can come over. And eighth but, lasted so long. Yeah. yeah. Shut Damn. up, bowl, bowls on apples. Yeah. Or Damn. like, I just had a little pipe and I just in the closet. Soda pops hey, only cost a nickel. What if you had to smoke <laughs> an, eighth, an, an eighth today? Could you even do it? Could you even make it happen, Ezone? To smoke an entire eighth in a day? 
No, for him, he's no, like one in the morning. Like cap. Cap. Oh, stop at an eight. Yeah. Oh. For his own, that's that's. Yeah. I guess I, I could, could but try. I don't know about yeah. <laughs> I'd have to like start smoking bowls again. <laughs> I mean, you would just see Ezo with bombs because he had to make the eight last. <laughs> He's on Dr. Green, them thing in bomb. What's wrong, Ezo? I can only smoke an eight. <laughs> I'm really trying to limit my smoke. <laughs> but I would just like, yeah, eventually, like, I would just kill it. Cause I would smoke it quick. Like I think by like two o'clock it'd be gone. I'm telling you, yeah, he's only I, yeah. I put down an eighth on the show before a couple times. Yeah, we have, yeah. Yeah. You remember buying grams? <laughs> that that dog sucked for ten bucks or fifteen bucks sometimes. I remember buying grams for twenty bucks on the street. I'm talking on the street. Yeah, twenty what, bucks. What, yeah. Was it good? Yeah, it was. Yeah, good. it was twenty bucks. Was good, OG. Yeah. I remember yeah. that shit. I remember you would get like twenty bucks and you get two sacks sometimes, and I was like, oh damn, that shit's crazy. Well, that's crazy. I can't believe you're telling me that. I would buy grams. You told me that. I couldn't imagine buying grams now. No. Nah. Well, a gram is like two little nugs, fool. A joint. Not even a you, joint. One of your joints. You yeah, no, not one of your joints. One of my joints. You one, can one, roll standard joint. On the small tip. You can roll with one gram on the small tip. Your thick tips, you need like a gram and a half. A lot of tip talk. I remember going to like uh, to, this, to the illegal dispensaries, 20 bucks for like a gram, fool. Or whatever, half a eight. <clears throat> but like the one thing that I do remember about certain dispensaries, bro, is the different type. The ones that were real had variety of good weed, bro. Like I miss seeing that much like variety of weed, bro. Like, what do you mean by variety of weed? Like, like uh, people were growing different shit back then because so what, not everybody had all the genetics, and not uh, everybody, not everybody was like, let's just say we're all growers. Not everybody was like, hey, rock, this OG grows, and then you're growing OG, and then you tell Xavier, and he's like, this OG grows, and he stops growing White Widow, and I stop growing Girl Scout cookies, and now all three of us are growing the same shit, and there's a influx of this certain strain, and we killed off two other genetics that still had a market, but it just wasn't selling or producing how we wanted this one to do it. Yeah, man, I. Forbidden fruit is a strain that I'm really, really sad I haven't been able to find. I have a pen coming out. Of forbidden fruit? Yeah. Does it have the, the grapefruit kind of profile on it? Yeah, Taste. forbidden fruit is actually it's forbidden fruit is like a cross with purple tangy. If it's it's tangy and cherry pie. Yeah. yeah. But but it's like one of my first gigs out here was at a grow and they made the best forbidden fruit. Like most of the plant was purple, little pinches of green and orange hairs. And it smelled like fruity pebbles and fucking grapefruit every time you pop that bag open. Like, I'd have to put a, ha a quarter pound aside for myself and then just move the other, you know, three quarters. Uh, and we get rid of it in a day. It's a secret sesh. I remember those good old days, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Those were those. That honestly, man, it's like, you know, how you got moments in your life yeah. where you like, like little bookmarks. You're like, damn, that was a sick ass time. Y'all were talking about like, fucking college and all that and like high school and whatever like when i first moved out here and was just like it was like busy i was doing that shit six days a week i was fucking tired but i uh i fucking loved the session i want i want to ask everybody in the chat room what is your guys's favorite strain though that you guys remember from like i don't know 10 years ago i do want to hear like good names and stuff that i didn't hear you know there's another topic i wanted to bring up what's up with that 30 million that we're missing Yo. did you hear about that Oh, so I'm surprised you didn't hear about that. So <clears throat> apparently the biggest heist in any fucking city oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that happened in the valley, yeah, fool, and undetected, bro. Inside job or not? Pro most likely. What are you talking about? It has to be inside job if it's that good. To be undetected? Unless we're talking fucking Ocean's Eleven, dog. Highly doubt. Who knows? It's, they're calling it like a Ocean's Eleven yeah, oh, type yeah. of thing. It's so fucking crazy. Yeah, it's uh, I think it was Trevor, Franklin, and Michael. Anybody who plays GTA would get that. <laughs> it seemed like a GTA thing. Yeah, that I, yeah. That does seem like a GTA thing. First of all, fool, like, how much fucking money is thirty million cash, fool? <sighs> like for you, how cash? many? How many? No, it was how many fucking like trucks? How much would that weigh? Like, how many fucking trucks are you driving away without nobody noticing? Because that is fucking crazy. 30 million to be just disappearing like that? Dude, no. I Yeah, that like you said, inside job. Like, I don't understand how this happened. Do you think it was like a really like an actual crazy heist? Or do you th like, obviously, no matter what, it has to be an inside job. There is no other way. But do you think it was like... 
like done all high style with like big vehicles and fucking them like disguising themselves and whatever or do you th- and they had like one guy on the inside or do you think it was like a group of executives that maybe uh that's kind of like some good fella shit bro like remember he was like we took fucking 15 million dollars and didn't make a fucking noise didn't hurt nobody Remember, like, that's like, cause, yeah, cause they paid the guard and like every, like, that's like a heist like that. It had to be done like Goodfellas. I mean, remember when he was in the shower, he was like, yeah. He's like, fuck, that was like, I felt that fucking excitement yeah. for him, dude. I was like, I got happy. I wasn't getting shit. Like, <laughs> like, Go get it, man. Yeah, like, even, I've seen this many times, still get hyped. I haven't looked into it, but like, there isn't like a hole in the vault. I know. I mean, if we're talking. Yeah, about they, they made. Shit. They I was made. About a, to say, what are some of the details? Because like, I just like okay. Talking, so like, they made. I just seen the headline. I haven't they, gotten a look. They made into a. It. They, there's a wall that like they fucking blew it up or they fucking broke it and then they fucking got in through there or something like that and then they fucking sealed it back up. <laughs> I just <laughs> so, yeah. So they fucking Shawshank Redemption the wall. I mean, they didn't like professionally do it. Like, remember when we tried to cover up the the the, the, the hole <laughs> on the roof for the first time. <laughs> And then the second time they really fixed it, yeah, the, the first time wasn't it. Are you wanting me to get like real conspiratorial? <laughs> you didn't even know about it. How are you gonna just create a conspiracy no, about it? If you just said that, because if word? you just said that, it has nothing to do with it. With with if it, if it's that actual robbery, how do you know it's not the owner of the bank that robbed himself? That's what I was saying. Like the executive, but it's like a real inside, inside it's job. Like cash, a real though. inside job. It's cash. Where the fuck is all this money gonna be stored? You know how much a million in cash is, fool. I actually want to look it up right like, now. Like that's a fucking is. lot. Like it's a lot of fun. It's not just like it's not like a, we don't smoke the same duffel bag full, fool. That shit. That shit is like I think it's like a room full, dog. There we go. Even if it's hundreds. Okay, so a a million dollars in a hundred dollar bills uh weighs around twenty two pounds. Oh wow. So what is that? Twenty two. Put twenty two bucks in my. Times. We don't smoke the same duffel bag that you can get at fullytoxic.com. There's only eight left. Buys next I one. love mine. I use mine a lot. I know. I brought mine. We're See, everyone's now. got one. See, Chili's got one. Okay, so, one. so guys, it is a lot of weight. It's 726 pounds, roughly. Um, That's a lot for money, but when you think about 726 it. 726 pounds? Yeah, so I was going to say that. For what, is, 30? For 30? For 33 million. 33 million? Okay. I, I, I couldn't remember if it's 30 or 33, but anyways. but that yeah. So roughly 700 pounds to move. Not that much. This month. That's what I was going to say. So that's like a one vehicle job. Me, me and Rock can move. That. Okay, well, man, I thought it was like Scarface money. Remember when they were walking into the bank and they had those fucking how much? But Omi was doing that in twenties. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I guess in twenties. But how do you not know? How do you know they were all hundreds though? We don't know that. You have to be. You have to paint. I mean, it could be mixed. It could be, it could 20s, be mixed. It could be twenties, but there's no way there's fives and tens and ones in there. At the end of the day, you're still looking at maybe no more than nine hundred to a thousand pounds, which. Is a lot for a single individual, doesn't but with a team. Have, not does, overnight, not overnight. It, a thousand pounds overnight. Is hey, but doesn't not a lot of doesn't time. money have like serial numbers and yeah, shit? They do like have serial numbers. That's what I'm saying. So the moment this money that, starts to being, figure out what serial number it has. So this, so the thing, the thing, serial the number bank works, knows, fool. No, uh, sometimes, so the serial, the, 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 the way the, the way serial number works is when someone kidnaps someone, the go, you go tell the the cops and the cops will give you ransom money or that's what they're supposed to do and they'll give you ransom money and that ransom number is fucking counted by like zero duh, 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 whatever number and then when they go use that or they go put it into circulation then they'll go get that person but if they don't have the serial numbers that are in that bank it's irrelevant it's just a number that's no one knows about yeah which they might he said by, banks might know I don't know if they scan numbers. I've never worked at a bank. Can you imagine but. these tools jacked it and they're about to open it and then that ink? <laughs> Can you, the, the the thirty million dollar ink packet. <laughs> hey, come on! Don't act like your homies didn't figure out how to do it <laughs> at Ross or when you stole shit, where they stole shit with the. With I the, don't have homies to steal. Oh, did they use the yeah, lighter? Like, huh? Did they use the lighter? The no, lighter my trick? homie used to steal from. Uh, yeah, but I'm saying, did you use the lighter? Like Xavier, I thought there was like a lighter trick. You used the same you tip three times, bro. Jesus, clean. <laughs> He likes the uh, the resin, man. I want to go downstairs. What was I saying? Um, you were saying you like ink. Ink no. me, daddy. Oh. oh, you know those things that say that they beep and shit, supposedly? Yeah. My homie, a- uh, he figured out a way, and I was like, bro, that's pretty legit. I never, I can't steal from me. I'm not getting deported for some <laughs> merch. But uh, you, you, I guess you put a, bl- a bag, like a plastic bag over it, and then you pull it, and then the ink goes in the plastic bag, and it'll get on the sneakers or the jeans. I've never uh. done it, but... That's what I thought you were talking about. Oh, no, that's a pretty good I remember seeing it in, cl- in person. It's like yellow and purple. 
Oh, uh, uh, oh, I've seen it in the little capsule in the thing. Yeah. yeah. You remember that thing that stick with the magnet in the in the machine? Remember how I told you I wanted to get the prize and I wanted I was gonna do it? Oh yeah, yeah. I tried doing it. No. It didn't work. It's too thick. Glass might no, be too thick. No, the glass is not too thick. It's just like I even tried sticking it like from the bottom, like to see if I could get the thing. And then I almost got that shit jammed up in there. And I was uh, like, man, fuck this. <laughs> I'm gonna get caught. Yeah. I was like, man. What would you do if you got caught like red handed in the middle of that shit? Like, what would your initial reaction be? Would it As be a like grown adult? Too. Yeah, would you would you just like, double down and be like, and man, your lady, fuck you? Hey, was your lady there too? Nah, all embarrassed. She'd be like, no, he's all. I, I, would, I, I, I would probably like push the person out of the way and leave. <laughs> <laughs> you would do the evasive maneuver, just fuck. <laughs> yeah. See, yeah. I feel like my my motive, my way of doing it is I wouldn't show any fear. I mean, it's a fucking, it's a fucking like machine, so I'd feel embarrassed. You know what I mean? Like, I'd be embarrassed, but I wouldn't show fear, man. I would just commit. I'd be like, "Fuck you," and then I just start walking out. But I'd walk out real slow. He punch a hole in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> There's a uh, one time when I was. Uh, I like to say running with the wrong crowd. <laughs> getting caught, though, is crazy, bro. Like, getting caught trying to steal from the machine. I got caught doing something stupid, and I did what I said I did. Like, I would like just fucking pump, put my chest out there. But it's funny because, like, I got... Long story short, I was hanging with these really fucking dumbass people, and I we were walking back to this party, and I spit on a car and put my cigarette out on it in the middle of a parking Whoa, lot. Oh, how drunk like, were you? I was extremely drunk and my friend had just punched a concrete gorilla thinking it was inflatable. So I was trying to just like do something rowdy to like make him feel better. <clears throat> and we get down the parking lot. Mind you, the whole time we crashed like a World of Warcraft party and like accidentally broke their ice throne and shit. It was a weird night. Um, that's, but, all, that's all they were looking for. Clearly, that was, that was like. But you're just like literally. I was with the wrong people, man. I was running with the wrong crew. I just like I was, no. you know, the no, bad I was crowd. Saying, no, I was talking about like you ruined those nerds night that was like their pussy for the night you went and ruined oh yeah, yeah dog they had like goblets of candy and i was drunk and i was just grabbing that shit and throwing it on the floor yeah, and i was I met, like you didn't pay for that yeah i've met world of warcraft i was a is. huge asshole that night um so yeah but i put my cigarette out on this car and spit on it and then like there's these two guys like later on in the the parking lot like down the way and the guy was like hey man why'd you spit on my fucking car <laughs> and i just looked at him and like it was a split decision i was like sink or swim baby and I just looked down. I go, I didn't do shit, motherfucker. And I just kept walking. I was like, I'm gonna get punched in the back of the head, but nothing happened. He probably, you probably like goes like, dude, fuck this crazy kid. Probably yeah, freak man. Freak him out, dude. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta freak him out. Yeah, dude. Go crazy. Break yeah. the window and be like, now I did something. True <laughs> go, go run back into the car and just start kicking the shit out of it. Yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, yeah, I think we're right at that time, right? Because he needs to do the closeout. However you want to do that, man. Let's read the Super Chats, yeah. Uh, let's right. read the Super Chats, and then we'll get into the closeout by Rock Sampson. And then I'll see you guys on the Green Thumb Show, and then we'll see you guys at the OG ca the OG Cannabis Cafe. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. And stay tuned for the Dr. Uh, Green Thumb Show. Yeah. Luis Romero, shout out from Boston. Always look forward to the show. Thank you so much. Thank you so much uh, all the way from Boston. Muchas gracias. I appreciate you for tuning in. Pitch Putt and Puff Podcast. Love the early show. What's good, y'all? What up? What's up? Yo, yo. What up, homie? I'm sorry. Every time it's just, I, I, I have to do I have to do this uh, podcast. Yeah, bro, but it's just like every time I'm just saying something always comes up. I feel bad. He hit me up for some music and I have not followed through. I'm sorry. I'll message yeah. you. He's the homie. It's fucking easy. Just it's through, through your phone. Yeah. I thought I needed, I, I like set up my laptop and everything for it because I thought it would be more like tinfoil hat zoom. And he's like, nah, through your phone. It smells like cigarettes. Next one. Hector Munoz. My son's Dirty name is tip. Destro. What is it? What did he say? Destro. My son's name is Destro. Oh, that's a very unique name. Destro? Well, I like names like that. He's like my I, favorite I, Autobot. Like, I would let you guys know what I want to name my kids, but then you guys are going to steal my kid's idea. My kid's name's idea. Your kid's idea? El Bofo. El Bofo? Yeah, name that. We're pretty cool, but no. I, know, I hate Chivas. No mames. I hate Chivas. My kids' names are going to be so Carlos Vela. His kid's name is going to be Star Killer or some nah, shit nah. like that. He's going to call his kid Campeon. <laughs> Xavier, Xavier calls him Xavier Messi. <laughs> 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 That's so wrong because I hate Messi, so that would never happen. <laughs> right, so I would, there's a better chance of me calling him Cristiano. Dude, <laughs> Xavier Cristiano sounds pretty good, I'd say. Now, if you get with an Argentinian chick, you got to call him Xavier Messi. Mm hmm. 
<laughs> Rolando. Xavier 42, Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> Rolando Valenzuela, bro. He pulled up on him. My uncle's daughter was trying to play him, but the dog guy was still alive. What is he talking about? I have no idea, dude. <laughs> My conversation we're having. Read that again. <laughs> Steve Limon, Ray. You got your Cosmo mask yet? Nope, but I got my jersey. Next one, <laughs> J-Max <-T. laughs> Salute everyone in the chat. We don't smoke the same. Same team. Same t -t -t team. Same team. Thank uh, yeah, no, yeah, that is Don Limon. Right, Next up, one, we got one more. Yeah, yeah. Kevin Butler, shout out to the Salt River, Arizona Indian Res. Pro Pen, waiting, waiting. That's what I'm talking about, dog. Hell yeah. Out there hooking up the natives regardless. Uh, hey, thank you so much. Yeah, regardless. Dog. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, stay tuned for Rock's Closeout. Everybody who's going to be there at the game on Saturday, I'm oh, well, specifically the 42s. Tell all the 42s. I will be set up there with my with my, with the little table with my Pro Pen stuff. So Cash is king. Cash is king, Orzel. But, yeah, I will be having a special for you guys out there if you're going to be in the tailgate. 25 bucks. I need, I need, to be oh, I need a ticket. I need a ticket. He doesn't want me to fucking sneak in somehow. He's like, it'll be good for the vlog. I'm not getting you a ticket. Sneak in. I haven't heard back from my ticket guy. No, but I don't want to sneak in. Yeah, I mean, fool. sneaking in would be, be good for the right vlog. Yeah, sneaking in. in is good for getting deported too. Kicking it right there. <laughs> hey, fool. If this was, Extreme if this was, risk. If these fools are selling fucking like the fake Don Julio, like with no liquor license, he's going to sell propens too, dog. You heard it here first. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck starting? What the fuck? Stopping this entrepreneur from getting that bag over there, dog. Get it, man. Yeah, Fucking so bring money, 42 pens? originals. If even if you're not gonna go, just show up with a 42 original stuff. And I know I could I could hook you guys up with that uh pro pen or no pen. You know what I'm saying? Uh rock, close uh shut up. Close uh <laughs> close out now. Uh follow me on my socials at R O C K S A M S O N A T X. Uh, come on through for the party later at the Cannabis Cafe for the Dr. Green Thumb Mix Show. I'll be doing a set at 7 o'clock. And, uh, yeah, stick around for the closeout. Ray. Thank you for everybody tuning in. Thank you, Rock, for showing up. Check out my website, morningshopfilms.co. Xavier. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Subscribe. And, uh, yeah, check out the vlog this Saturday. It was fun. A little Dodger game activity. E-zones. Uh, we all know you guys want to see Tommy do a bump. What the fuck am I here promoting other <laughs> shit? Go see Tommy do a fucking bump we this Saturday. We can't show that, dog. We're going to get flagged. <laughs> Go watch they a know, blurred it's image. In the mirror. It's in happening. the mirror. You Patreon got, only. You keep can, your eyes open. You can hear Earl St. Clair. Do it. <laughs> hear shit. You got to pay attention. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, go, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Stay uh, stay uh, tuned for that closeout. Flavorsbyezone.com. Don't forget to sign up for that $20 tier uh, artist of the month. Uh, thank you, everybody. There's a new vlog uh, coming as well. Um, I'll see you guys on the Green Thumb Show. Follow me on WhatNow for all the sales on there. Uh, Flavors by Ezone is the name on WhatNow. I'll send you a link so you guys can get money to spend if you use my link to sign up. It's easy. So trust me, uh, just you could come up on there as well. And yeah, I'd be having like all kinds of goodies on there. Um, aside from that, we'll see you guys next Wednesday. But stay tuned for the vlog on Saturday as well. And Rock got that close out. Hell yeah. Also, shout out my friend Jaguar, Pedro Honey.